So this is a quick 10 minute yoga exercise routine that you can do um, in a hotel room, really easy. I'll just show you some basic moves. And um, what I do is I repeat it three times. So you can follow along with me and then hit repeat a couple times if you wanna do it three times also, or if you're rushed, just do it once through. So here we go. So I didn't bring my mat in, but that's fine because uh, there's a good chance that if you're traveling, you might not have your mat either. So I'm going to set the camera up and then we'll do a little bit of yoga in the hotel room. Okay, so start off by coming down to your hands and knees. You want your wrists to be underneath your shoulders and your knees to be in line with your hips. So take a big inhale and drop your belly down. And as you exhale, you want to tuck your chin under towards your chest and round upward. So now on this, you want to tuck your toes and lift yourself all the way up into a downward dog. So take a big inhale and reach your right leg back up and high. And if it feels good to bend your knee, reach your toes way back behind you. Now slowly bring your right knee around and tap it to that right shoulder. Keeping your leg lifted, you want to sweep it across the body and then bring it back. Now we're just going to do the same thing again, bringing the leg down and across the body. Okay, and we're just going to do that two more times, bringing the knee in, sweeping softly across the body, and bringing it to the back. And go for one more time. Remember keeping everything in line and sweeping towards the back. From here, you want to lift your knee up towards your forehead and step your foot between your hands. This is a low lunge, and you want to take a couple deep breaths here. Now you want to bring your head up and comfortably raise your arms. Now come down and sink into that and really take a nice deep breath here. Now exhale and take everything over to the right side. Now take a big inhale to lift everything back up. Now take another exhale and twist over to the other side. Inhale to lift up and exhale into a warrior two. So slowly open your arms up to the sides. Front foot should be forward and back foot should be turned. So take a deep breath in to lean all the way back and then exhale back into warrior two. Let's do this a few more times where we're just leaning all the way back, reaching up to the sky, and then coming back on our exhale into this deep warrior two. Let's do that one more time. Lean back, bring it forward. Now from here, your fingertips are gonna come down to the ground. You're gonna come into another nice low lunge um, with your hands on either sides of your leg. Now try and shift your weight onto your standing leg and we're going to kind of balance here for a while putting all that weight onto that standing leg and then we're going to lift the arms back if you can grab your balance and kind of hang out here for a little bit. In this pose you want to really focus on your balance and then we're gonna bring it back down to a nice slow lunge again. So now we're gonna step back into a plank pose and make sure in this position that your hips are in line with your back, a nice straight line. And we're just gonna hold this for a few seconds. Make sure you're taking nice deep inhales in and exhales out here. And now with that strong balance and focus, we're gonna go into a side plank. So you're gonna put all of your weight onto your one arm. Come up and do a nice easy stretch and take a nice deep breath. And now we're going to come back down to the middle and do the same thing on the other side. You're going to open those hips up and reach your arm up to the ceiling. Taking another nice deep breath and now bring it back down to the middle. We're going to go into an upper dog. So ease your knees down, sink your hips down, and if you want to, you can even sway a little from side to side and take some nice deep breaths while you're over here. Drop your shoulders and take a nice big breath right here. And now shift your hips back into your heels and go into child's pose. This is a great time to relax your back, your forehead, really breathe into this stretch. So now we're going to come back on our hands and knees. You're going to tuck your toes and we're going to lift ourselves back up into another downward dog. So take this time to just move around a little, soften your knees. And we're going to do the same thing as the other side. We're going to lift the left leg up 
And if it feels comfortable, you want to go ahead and bend your knee. We're going to bring our hips around again like we did before, bringing it over to your left shoulder and sweeping it across your body in this one continuous movement. Let's do this again where you're bringing your knee down, bringing it all the way across the body, opening your hips up and lifting it towards the back. Let's do this again in another fluid motion, bringing that knee around and pushing it all the way to the back. Nice fluid motions, we'll do this one last time and pushing it towards the back. And on this one, you wanna lift your knee up towards your forehead really high and bring your foot in between your hands. Now let your hips sink and your shoulders relax. You're gonna bring yourself up, open the arms up all the way up to the sky. Exhale and spin yourself around to the left side. Take a big inhale when you're ready to bring yourself up to the top. And then another exhale, bringing yourself out to the side. And exhale into warrior two, where your arms are out to the side, your front foot's facing forward, and your back foot is facing out. So now inhale lifts you up. And exhale, you're gonna open and press. We're gonna repeat this a few times. We're gonna go for another inhale, lifting up and exhale, opening and pressing out. Another inhale up. Now lean backwards and get a really nice stretch up here. Taking some nice deep breaths while you're here. And when you're ready, we're gonna bring it to the front, touching that knee and opening up the chest, looking upward towards your hand. Bring it back down again, opening up into a nice stretch, and bring it forward. And now transitioning into a low lunge where your foot's in between your hands. From here, you wanna lift your leg up, and with that left leg, you wanna find your balance and open up. You can open your arms up to the sides, whatever feels most comfortable. Get your balance strong, and then come back down into downward dog and we're gonna just relax your shoulders, relax your neck, kind of just open up your hips, move around if you need to, slowly lower your hips back into child's pose, take that stretch in, take a nice deep breath, and really appreciate this workout you just did. Great job guys. So that's a quick yoga routine that you can do right in your hotel room. It's only 10 minutes long if you do it three times. And I went into that feeling really sore. My whole body was just like, sore from other workouts that I had done and I feel really nice and loose and open and energized after that. So it's a great thing to do first thing in the morning when you roll out of bed. It's a really good morning routine even if you're just at home or if you have a little break from work to do it. So if you want more videos like this make sure you subscribe to my channel here. You can also find me on Facebook. I'm going to be posting all kinds of other things up on there of my road trip. Uh, you can see photos and other videos that aren't on my YouTube channel. You can also find me on Instagram and at stephhendel.com where you can sign up for my newsletter where each week you'll get exclusive content delivered to your inbox on how to stay fit and healthy and do it the most fun way possible. So you can find that over at stephhendel.com. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the road.